Hi, Dr. Windisch again from Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Welcome to our patient series uh, for education. Remember that these, uh, these discussions don't replace consultations with your physician. If you have questions, give us a call at our office. We'll be happy to see you same day, 359-7111. Today we want to talk about a very common skin infection called impetigo. Impetigo is a superficial skin infection. It is not a deep infection. It's not an invasive infection. It is very, very common. Impetigo is somewhat contagious, but it's not the end of the world. A lot of daycares would make you think that this is the plague or something awful. Uh, but in general, it's nothing particularly horrible. It does have a tendency to spread along the body, but as long as you're not in close contact rubbing the, the wound on somebody else, it won't spread from person to person. It's caused by any of a number of bacteria, Staphylococcus and Streptococcus being the most common. If it is isolated in small body parts, it's very easy to treat with just a cream two or three times a day. If it's spread throughout a large part of the body, we often use oral antibiotics rather than slather the kid head to toe in cream daily or a couple times a day. Uh, it's easier to just give antibiotics by mouth a couple times a day. Or if the infection is in crevices, like in the ear where it's not so easy to get the cream into all the crevices, the oral antibiotics work a little bit better for you. Um, the infection, you can get it over and over again. Some people carry the bacteria in their nose, and if that happens, sometimes we put the cream in the nose as well to get rid of the infection in there, or the carrier stayed in there so that you're not reinfecting yourself. Um, again, this does not typically turn into something worse, so it's not a real big deal. It can, if you have eczema, make your eczema flare, and sometimes you may see or may hear your doctor if we're treating eczema for you say that's why your eczema was bad, you have impetigo and we're going to treat that. They can be tied together, um, but again, it's pretty easy to treat. Orally, we'll usually use something called Keflex or something called Bactrim, or in older patients, something called doxycycline all of which are very well tolerated, all of which are very cheap. So I hope this helps to reassure you if your child has impetigo, you're in really good company. This happens to most kids at least once. It is hardly the end of the world. It's nothing to worry about. It is something we need to see to treat. We can't diagnose rashes over the phone, but uh, it's pretty simple. And don't let the daycare scare you. Your child's leg won't fall off from it, although it may be ugly and, and oozy looking. So I hope this helps to uh, shed some light on some things for you. If we can be of assistance here, call us at our office, area code 775-359-7111. We'll see you next time.